Well, what have we got on the bench today? This is a rather delightful B&G Little Sister custom. Um, it's what a superb piece of kit. Um, it's a very unusual design actually. They, I went on their website, their design philosophy is to recreate the good quality stuff from wherever. Um, and it's all handmade and really nice, really nice. They are an arm and a leg and a firstborn, of course, but uh, I suppose you've got to pay things for quality. I personally have owned some really high-end kit in my day. Um, played some even higher-end kit. This knocks them all into a cocked hat. The neck and the fretting are absolutely superb. Superb. Um, it's got all good stuff underneath the nice brass gubbins here, is the pick guard, is a capstan for setting the neck truss rod. It's, uh, no fair dues, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got, you know, it works well, it sounds nice and it plays a dream, it really does. So why is it on my bench, you ask? Well, the owner has a bit of a rattle. Um, not him personally, obviously, but the uh, the strings he says rattle when he plays it. Now, I've got a very light touch myself, and I don't know. However, what there is, and as he pointed out to me, and I don't know if we can see it, is that the A and D string are slightly lower in the nut. Um, now, it's, I'm not going to get a good video of it. Not with a little shaky camera. You can just see that they are lower. Um, we had discussed putting a bone nut on it, but this is a tusk nut. So, I went on their website to see its specs and setup specs. They are, they're very thin on the ground for setup specs, but it does give you what the thing's made of and all that sort of thing. Um, so, what I think I will do is build up in the nut slots the, uh, the first three and the last one of the six is about perfect height. You really don't want it any lower than that. It's going to rattle. That's a little bit low. Um, these two, you can just there's hardly any movement. That's quite a bit of movement, but that's minimum, I would say. So, we shall do that. But this, this is a really delightful instrument. It really is. Um, I, I swear you can't get better. Um, I mean, you throw your Les Paul in the dustbin. Um, I don't care what you've paid for it. This thing really does the business. It is a gorgeous piece of kit. And uh, it says little sister there, if you look carefully. See that? It's covered in brass. It's got a beautiful flame top on it. Um, nah, it's just too good to be true, this thing. Uh, they are a little bit expensive, in all fairness. But, uh, hey, you know, if you've got it flaunted, I wish I could have one, but I can't. Um, I should have to sell the car, I think. And then I wouldn't be able to get to gigs. Anyway, so what I shall do with this is, uh, having played it and dropped the action quite a bit, um, I haven't had to adjust the truss rod, the neck bow is perfect, oh, neck relief, oh yes, let's use the proper terminology, the neck relief is perfect between the first and the, the 12th, 14th fret on the body joint, it's about 10 thou. So that's more than enough. Actually, I might just ease it a bit. That will ease his string rattle um, without ruining his action. But it's quite a bit lower than it was when I picked it up. Um, that's how I like it, that is. But I've got a very light touch, so I don't make them rattle. But even I'm managing to make this rattle. Uh, I noticed on the website that they've got a video of one of their chaps playing one. 
similar model to this, and uh, it's rattling. So I don't know. Maybe it's a um, maybe it's just a thing, but the neck is so perfectly straight. I mean, when I say straight, it's got just a little uh, forward bow in it, which is how it should be. But the frets are perfect. It doesn't matter how low you crank the strings, each fret plays. It's spot on. I mean, no, I've never played a Gibson from the factory like that, plec or no plec. Somebody's done a really, really good job addressing these frets. Uh, nearly as good as what I can do. Oh, oh well, there you go. Um, anyway, I shall switch off now and uh, I can't show you because I don't want to give you out his name, but uh, it's got on the back plate, the control plate underneath, it's got his name engraved on it um, in the brass. So they did that in the factory, I believe. And you can see all my junk now. I'm probably the only person in the world with a 1500 watt PA power amp to support his torch. Look at that magnetic torch. How do you support it? You stick a power amp on your bench together with a lot of old British uh, Dad's Army and the detectives. Oh, that's besides the point, isn't it? Um, yeah, well there you go. Um, I shall put this video up and link it to the owner so that he can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, lovely piece of kit. Absolutely gorgeous. So, goodbye for now folks and thank you for watching.